Brick City Podcast TV channel. Yeah. Episode 12. Just to continue from 7, the armed robbery. You go back, check it out. Then you'll see. Connect the dots, whatever. Episode 7. Anyway, I catch the guy at the trailer. And see what happened. I hit the I hit the pump shot towards the ground. And um he had a bullet in there. So and I, it, it flashed in my brain. Like, man, I'm right behind this guy. I'm right on top of him. He wasn't too far in front of me. So when I ran behind the trailer, it was a car park right there. And I ran around the trailer, I didn't see nobody. Like, and I was just thinking real quick, like, hold up. You know what? He could be gone. I asked him, really wouldn't stop. You know what I mean? But I'm thinking, like, man, he pulled me right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I bent over and looked under the car. I seen his feet. Under the car, so he done went on the car and bent over. So I run around the car, boom. I catch him in the trailer, boom. So when I catch him, I ran to the trailer. So he made mad noise. I already know whoever in that trailer gonna wake up. So now I'm getting it, you know, I'm pumping them drum. You know what I'm talking about? Aired them out, took everything out of them. And then guess what happened? I started to think, it's crazy. They took money out of my pocket when I was in front of the house. And they didn't even know it. They had like fifteen hundred dollars in their pocket, fifteen or seventeen hundred. That's how much I made. And the time I get home from work, <laughs> the time I get home, you already know pockets full. <laughs> so um, yeah, they had that in their pocket already that before they went in the house. But anyway, I went in his pocket, got my money, put it back in there. By the time they did, the woman open the back door, or whatever. She go back and call the police. See what I'm saying? Because I'm kind of shook. I don't know this dude. Uh, dude got the gun, I don't, he might come back or whatever. But when I was beating this dude up, he was telling me the guy's name. You know, I was beating him, busting him up. He telling me the guy's name. Cause I'm hey, who was the other guy? He telling me the guy's name. Yeah. Repeatedly. Yeah. So I knew it was whatever, whatever. Anyway. Please come up. I don't the sheriff come up fast. You know, sheriff stay around in the country area. Outside of Washington City Limit. Boom, he pulled up. So we pull up and we put the gun on me. I mean, how the situation look? The guy down, bleed, bloody or whatever. He 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 laid down. So he got a gun on me with a flashlight. So he put maybe get on my knees, whatever, blah blah blah. That man, my girlfriend at time she comes, she crying, and she don't call some guys over to help her and try to move to work. That's all I'm thinking now. The police, are here, man, they come back in the house with a prime of seeing it. Dang, it's working now. You hear me? But she she's smart. She, she, she handled her business, whatever. But anyway, she talks, she lying on, she telling and explaining to the police that it ain't me, just him. You know what I mean? But boom, time ain't proof. You come on, four, five shares. So then they walk me to the house over here. Oh my lord. And remember, I don't take the money back out of my pocket. See how they they searched me. They already took the in the uh, um when they when the police put me on my knees, they took the um the money out of my pocket. Took, walk, took everything out. But anyway, they get me to the house. They get, put everything on the table, whatever. Now they're searching the house. They had a whole bunch of roaches I had in the attic for smoking. And once that sheriff that got me from the start, he would put pressure on me. And then the top sheriff, y'all already know who it is. He would tell him, no, nah, don't worry about that little bit of stuff. They wanted to go in that back room. But my girlfriend at that time, she, uh, she was like, no, nah, it didn't happen back there. But it did. You hear me? They went back. They would seen the holes in the walls. and Yeah, they would have found everything. But um, yeah, that what happened. So they they start, they move on, they search me whatever. I got fifteen hundred dollars on the table. They count every dollar. I'm like man, I look I look bad. He look was armed robber, but I look bad with all this money right here. Well, I'm a lot of money. Hey, just can't house. You hear me? But um, yeah, that what happened. But anyway, we we told the police that it didn't happen back in that room. I explained it to her. I just. Somehow, both our stories just ended up because I was like, boom, boom, blah, blah, blah. He had a gun on me. I turned, blah, blah, blah. A lie. Ain't what really happened. I just didn't want to go in that back room. They go in the back room, they search everything. They are, they, I'm done at that time. You hear me? But yeah, that's what happened. Um, after that situation, uh, not too long, the feds picked me up. So I got a little story. I went in the county jail. When the, when the, uh, 
Actually, the SBI got them and the Washington City Department work together to come back there in the country because they had to work together. Washington City Police could not get out in the country port of outside the city limits. So they used the SBI to start off when they ran the house with some tax warrants. But they can't, that, that happened right after, probably about a month after the armed robbery, 10th armed robbery. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, and that night I went to sleep, man. I, I, I couldn't sleep. I mean, it hit me later on, like, man, it could have it could have went real bad, but you know, <laughs> got these stories, plenty of them, you know what I mean? Tip on robbery, tip on me, you know, it's on smack black, you know what I mean? I want y'all to stay tuned, more stories, I'm gonna continue. I'm write book, I'm write all my stuff down. I'm telling you, write med books and stories, and little Washington, legendary stories. Hood stories, true stories, everything gonna be true, authentic with me. But yeah, um, stay tuned. Uh, Brick City podcast is uh episode twelve. Stay tuned. I'm gonna keep it hot. I know I've been slacking a little bit, but I'm gonna keep them popping. You hear me? But yeah, let me get a shout out every time. Half a meal tea. Just holler at him. Coming home soon. I'm going to see my man. Yeah, in a video coming out soon. My big dog, big homie. You hear me? But um, holler back at me. Live. Oh, Gushimi, I love you, man. I love my son, Gushimi, man. Yeah, yeah, grab on. How about